Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's Springbok team prediction video for the first match of the 2024 Rugby Championship, uh, which will be South Africa versus Australia in Brisbane, um, a place that we haven't had too much success with last winning back in 2013. So it could end an 11 year wait uh, to get another victory. Not that Don Human and the Springboks are particularly, particularly concerned um, regarding the uh, that sort of recent history. They basically said that, you know, anything uh, you know look back that for example that was a different coaching staff different era and uh, you know every single time that they play a match becomes part of history and they kind of move on so apparently not worried about the record but i do think it is a record they'll want to try and prove on we need to be far better in australia and as a result i think we're going to go as strong as we can uh, try and get a um uh, uh, two early wins in uh, the 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 rugby championship put pressure on new zealand and then welcome them to ellis park and to the cape town stadium and to then try and, and get our hands on the rugby championship, which has eluded us um, of late. So before we get into my team and sort of explain my selections, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is what I have gone with. Let's go through it, shall we? So uh, in the front row, I've gone with Ritzeko Baditswe in share. There is Ox, Bongi Manambi, and France Malher, but I think that's pretty settled. Um, no Steve Kitsov at the moment. He didn't go over and travel, so uh, I do expect Ox to continue to start. And I think Malcolm Marks, in theory, I think could be fit, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if we only see him with the second test and give him an extra week. We'll wait and see exactly um, where he is at uh, when the team is announced tomorrow, whether he will be involved um, or not. Um, I think on with uh, Ivan Etzebeth and Ox uh, Sleiman starting. Obviously, no Frank Mostert, who's broken his leg. Um, and no Luke Diaga, no Jean Klein. Um, we're, we're down on locks at the moment. As a result, I think Ochi Stamen will continue to to start. Um, I don't think we're going to see Ruan Okia necessarily this weekend, and um, uh, unless they want to start him and go with an Ochi Stamen impact off the bench. Um, but I'd be surprised. Um, we then got uh, the, the back row of Circles Pistols Toy. I've gone with the unlikely, maybe. Uh, one of Albert Lowe starting. This is a case of where they want to get Quaker Smith coming off the bench rather than starting. He has generally started at number eight. Um, you know, started those two games against Ireland. Um, but I think they were very impressed with what Albert Lowe did against Portugal. And I think that he fits more the sort of the mold of, of what your sort of traditional starting three month number eight has been within this Bok uh, team. So I think that for me, if you're looking at the, the pack, that for me is one of the big decisions. Um, you know, Albert Lowe or Quaker Smith. Um, I, I would, I would, I'd quite like to see Quaker Smith. I wouldn't have an issue with that. I think we very much overrated um, how bad he was against Ireland. He had like two major errors in that first test, and after that was pretty solid. Um, and now everyone sort of decided he's used to. Uh, so it's a weird reaction to it, but to wait and see. Um, I think Chris Ryan will start next to Andre Pollard. I do think Grant Williams will play, but I think he'll be coming off the bench. We've taped. We've generally gone with uh, Chris Ryan when a uh, after click has started, and then I think Grant Williams will inject some pace. I would love to see him start. To be perfectly honest, I think that uh, he's in some terrific form and he's looked so so good when he has come off the bench so far. Um, this year, and I do think he'll be under Pollard, not Marnie Leibach. I, I, it's an interesting one, isn't it? They're going to continue sort of jostling for that. I think we're going to see Marnie versus Argentina, but I think um, uh, I think that we will go with Andre, the more experienced, for example, over there in Australia. Uh, the rest of the back line, I think, pretty much picks itself. Kirk Lawrence, the Chesham Colby, Billy Lou is back from injury, and I think we'll come back into the side. And uh, then the centers will be Damien Dandy and Jesse Creel. Off the bench, uh, if there's no Malcolm Marks, Jan Kovalov should get us another opportunity. Uh, Kheos Tenekam has been backed as the sort of reserve loose head. I think he will continue to do that, as will Vincent Koch in the number three. I do think that we'll go with the 6 2 split. Uh, Salman Murat for me will definitely be involved in the 23, as well as Quaker Smith. Um, we can go with two loose forwards, for example. You could put a Mark of Starden over there. Um, ben Jason Dixon obviously is loose forward, but can cover lock, so I think that he adds a nice versatility. But because you've got PSJ for the toy, who can can cover it should only be a number five lock you don't necessarily need to go with uh with 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 two lock options on the bench and then the uh, backline players will be grant williams and i think sash farmer will continue to play in the number 23 jersey until we see the return of damien Villemsa. what do you think of that team where are the changes i think uh the, the changes i expect people to see uh, i'll be interested to see what the reaction is to be back at 15 i think he needs to be there and then you bring so much experience especially playing away i think we've seen sash farmer gomez who's only going to get better um, and I think they'd like to see him playing a bit more at 10. Um, so Villu is the sort of the, uh, the out, out option. I don't think we're going to see Apre Lefassi starting ahead of him. Um, other options, I think, will, will the scrum up option. Maybe Gotwin gets a, gets, a, gets a surprise start, but I'll be surprised. Um, Alvaro Lopez, Quaker Smith, probably sort of the big selection. 
Uh, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.